Today is Wednesday the 3rd of February 2021. This is a video for Health One users about some reports we've done uh, in Health One to find your patients due for COVID vaccines. So uh, the premise of this is that GPs will be vaccinating all patients over 70 and that the priority will be by age greater than 85, greater than 80 and greater than 70. So with these reports, I've done a few uh, different things. In order to get patients who are still probably still alive uh, and are the first to be called, I have done an analysis regarding people who are over 85 and who got the flu vaccine in 2020. These people will most likely be mobile uh, and most likely will be alive still to get the vaccine. The second one then is COVID vaccine. Uh, give me a, a, a list of all patients over 85 who have not had the flu vaccine in 2020. They might have got it in um, pharmacy or somewhere else or not got it at all, but they were seen in the past 12 months. This means that they're again most likely to be alive. Uh, these are easily alterable by the user if you want to see patients, all your patients over 70 or over 80 or all patients who have been seen in the past three years or whatever. I've done the same for 80 to 84, flu given, flu not given, and then 70 to 79, uh, flu given and flu not given. So in Health One, if you click on this button here, it says uh, perform database analysis. Everybody's used to this. And in the database analysis, there are two sections. There's the user analysis and the health one analysis. Well, the health one analysis are analysis that the user can't alter. And we will distribute these uh, queries uh, and they will be put in here. As you can see, there's nothing relating to COVID in here at the moment. But if you go to help and web update, it will actually update these for you. You can see here, config files are out of date and uh, it's updated the files. Or even though it says there with modules, that doesn't mean anything. So now when I click on this button here, perform database analysis, and if I just collapse that and I have a look at the health one analysis, you will see that there's a whole pile of analyses in here under COVID back 2021. COVID all patients greater than 70, I did this as a basic one. COVID 85 flu given, 85 no flu given, etc. 80 to 84, 70 to 79. I've also have a list of all patients who have a CDM diagnosis uh, but are between the ages of 18 and 70. The other thing you should note, as you can see here, if you point to the one that's highlighted, you will see a, a hint there, list of all patients so aged 85 and over who have had a flu vaccine in the winter of 2020 and who are not tagged as nursing home patients. Most of you won't have uh, nursing home patients identified in the same way, but the analysis will still work, but it may give you the nursing home patients as well. So if you start again now and you click on your database analysis and you just type in the word COVID because they all have the word COVID at the beginning of them, as you can see, that makes it easier to find them. So I get rid of the user analysis there. And I do the second one, give me a list of all my patients aged over 85 who had the flu vaccine in the winter of 2020. So with the result of this, I get the patient's surname, first name, date of birth, telephone number, a mobile telephone number, doctor in charge, and their PPS number, so that you can go through them. You can either ring the patient or you can uh, see if they have a correct PPS number. You can also see the, the um, description of the analysis up here. I should also say that if you have a GMS patient whose PPS number isn't here, you can get that PPS number from the monthly list, and this is the subject of another video, uh, and you can analyze this monthly list via the PCRS parser. And all of the patients in here, in this list, you, you would see their PPS number and you can update the patient locally. So that's just a handy thing uh, to know. 
in this case there are just 75 patients and this is a relatively easy number to manage. And go down through these analyses and do them one by one. But because we have uh, put all of these analyses into an execution group, if you view it there you see that they're in a display group which you see here. The display group is this here, COVID-VAC21, but it's also in an execution group, COVID-VAC2021, which means I can execute all of them together. And I can do that by simply highlighting this one, clicking on Excel, and going by this execution group. So once I do that, it will go through all those analyses. I just call that uh, 06 because I've done so many of them. And you will, uh, it'll go through every single one of these analyses. You can see here, all patients over 70 first pick, I'm putting, doing that because that's my 100% population if I want to get the percentages. And it will then go through, as you can see here, it's going through various analyses there one by one. And when it's finished, it will pop up a, an Excel spreadsheet for me. And this is the result of your analysis. So we have a summary here. So all eight patients over 70 is over 100%. So I have 7% and 9%. That's 16% uh, 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 are over 85. And similarly, over 80 are these two, 13 and 6, 19%. So you have all of these uh, analysis, the uh, all conditions under 70 isn't a correct uh, uh, percentage because it's taking the percentage of the 100, but you have all those. And in here you have a list of all your patients here, all your patients over 85 who've been given the flu, uh, all the patients over 85 who've not had the flu, etc. And that there's a, a different sheet here for every single one of them. And you can go through this list and you can get uh, your patients. So, to recap, once you do your next web update, you will find in your database analysis over here a new set of analysis all related to COVID vaccination down in the Health One analysis. These analyses are not alterable or editable by the user. There's no edit over here, but you can copy them. If you copy them, like I copy, say, this one, it will, you'll see it and you'll be able to edit it. So you could say all patients over 85 and make something else out of it. And what it will do is it will put it up uh, into, in, if I say, okay, it'll put it up into this lot here so that you can edit it, but these ones will remain the same. Okay, so that's the end of this recording. Thank you.